So I'm here with Julie and Helen Philippe. I have no words. Guess on to the next. It's um, it's what day is it? Wednesday morning. We're, stage one is today. Um, we're gonna head out and do sort of an easy-ish ride. What? It's like 56 k's, 500 meters of elevation. We head out to the coast and then head in the mountains and and then back down to Norwood where we will uh, see the stage start um, and hopefully meet Alaphilippe <laughs> and maybe Ghana and maybe Viviani. <sighs> I'll try. But this might be our only opportunity. But yeah, it is a little bit chilly out there today, so I have the gilet and arm warmers out. Um, call me soft, but I don't give a shit. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Let me know in the comments below. Luke, are you enjoying the vlogs? You ever watched any of them? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's in them. Doesn't matter. All right. We'll see you out there. About an hour in, and sensations are not good today. Legs are dead and feeling super cooked. What is this? Oof. On a bike path though. So we're about halfway through the ride and it's sort of spitting. <sighs> anyway, we'll get through. Just gotta get to see Ala Philippe. So I'm here with Julie and Ala Philippe. Are you excited about today's race? Yes, of course. Are you going to send it? And uh, the weather is also a little bit less warm, so I, I prefer this. You prefer it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit cold Yesterday for us, was though. really warm. Too warm? Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, awesome. Thank I hope you, you do really well. Thank Thanks you. so much. Hi. I have no words. I have no words. We just... Okay, I guess on to the next. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, Luke. I don't know how I asked him those questions so calmly. I was not calm at all. I was like, what a guy. What a guy, what a nice guy. I'm really happy with that. He's, ha he's like taking photos with everyone. He's not, he's a really good guy. You asked that so calmly, you could get that. So, race is about to start. We got a bottle for Luke. We got an Ed EF Cannondale bottle, because he has a Cannondale. And, um, yeah, I think the race is about to start, like, two seconds. We saw JT. We're gonna have a chat with him at some point, but I don't know when. He remembered me. Oh, JT. It's freezing and I am um, regretting my life choices here. I wish I'd raced earlier in the week and then I don't have to race today and tomorrow. Oh, oh well, we're here now. Luke's going to provide some expert commentary throughout the race. So just uh, stay tuned, enjoy that. Alrighty, what's going on team? Um, M's just hopped onto the track. Ladies A starts in like, oh, maybe three to five minutes. Um, it is far too cold for summer. Um, it's like 14 degrees, wind chill makes it feel like 10. Um, glad I'm not racing, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated and yeah. Couple of minutes in now, it feels like the wind's died down a smidge. Um, bunches all together. Um, semi strung out. Don't know how hard it is and might have a comment later on it but um, yeah it, if it goes anything like the women's B, women's C and all the others um, probably be a bunch finish. Um, 
there's like five or six bridge lane people four or five Butterfields and uh, assortment of other teams that I have no idea who's who um, but I mean okay I guess the color schemes are nice oh yeah ACA that's a team yeah right so status update I think a few tried to have a stab off the front uh, in one of the crosswind sections but that's been brought back um, nothing to report else well I'm sorry nothing else to report thinking about it for the last little bit I don't really know how to commentate a crit so it's just like 40 minutes plus three laps someone attacks gets chased back someone attacks gets chased back and then again someone will attack and again get chased back so instead I think I'll do like the Kano and Robbie McEwen special at the tour and talk about the lovely architecture so um, Adelaide's a lovely part of the world Climate's fantastic, oh, a little bit cold right now. Um, very green, lots of trees, lots of churches, that sort of thing. But I really, really, you know, I've taken a fancy to the Coles Express across the road. It blends nicely into that sort of nice old house um, next to it. And uh, yeah, that's police if anyone needs to open an office or something. Victoria Park and Crit Track, when you come around the uh, second corner maybe, you end up coming along to um, the remnants of the Adelaide 500 uh, V8 supercar infrastructure. So it, it's a lovely backdrop for tonight's race. You get to see the um, you know exposed steel columns. So if you're interested in engineering, this will probably get you going. Um, there's also a, a good... Um, number of on-site offices, shipping containers and plant for I guess assembly and deassembly. Um, it's a really nice backdrop then to the uh, what's presumably a heritage listed grandstand and cafe precinct over there where all of the start finish line and tents and whatnot is. Um, yeah just another great thing about coming here to Adelaide to race. Now the pace is up right now. Um, it's completely strung out. There is someone on the front in a jersey with a bike. He's also now just swung off. Um, yeah. For more hot takes, uh, stay tuned. So back to our story before, re the V8. So watching the stage today, they were saying that motorsport people quite enjoy riding bikes. You see. Valtteri Bottas and, and whatnot um, doing their like rattle gravel and all that other sort of thing. Um, do you reckon that works the same here? Do you think V8 supercar drivers get out on the bike or, or not? I don't know. It just seems a bit different, but yeah, that could be wrong. So I'm also not as good at vlogging as what M is, but there's a bloke over here in a car. I think he's like the track marshal security or something. And he just keeps, you know, every time I pull this thing out to start talking the crap I have been, he just gives me the weirdest looks. It's a bit off-putting, not going to lie. Now, um, another advantage of um, being here is you've got the, the Weber Grill Academy. Um, just directly across from the crit track, it's only a good 45 metre walk uh, from the start-finish line um, to learn all your... I guess smoked meat dreams. And there was someone sitting in the car and they so totally saw me and heard me do that. Just a quick update, the race has heated up. Um, it was, it's four people attacked off the front and another four chased them and then the entire bunch went gangbusters and roped them both back in. Um, it was all strung out single file for quite a while and um, and yeah, it seems like it might be coming down now, but I think there might be around about 20 minutes left or thereabouts. I really don't know. I'm not keeping good time, um, but I'll keep you updated. Well, we've got another attack. It's going to start happening now. Yeah, it's so great. Yay! Big thing! Come on, give me a shot! Come on, come on, come on! 
Here they come up there, there. We've got a big, strong uh, lead of riders go, there, go, making go, it go, nice go, and strong go, there. Go, go. In front there. Looks like she's going to take it out and will. There it is, zero thirty, taking oh, the win. Oh, big, strong win, Adette Lynch. Oh, what a big, powerful sprint there. I'll tell you what. Hello. Huh? Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> <laughs>